Hi YouTube! So in this video, um, I'm going to explain like my pregnancy symptoms and I'm going to explain like everything that happened up to this point. Today I'm five weeks and three days, so um, yeah, on 6DPO um, I took a pregnancy test and I know that it's like super, super early, so I knew it was going to be negative and it was. Um, so I waited a few days. And on 8DPO, I was like seriously nauseous. I, was, I wasn't feeling good at all that day. So I took a dollar store test and I got a really, really faint negative, or faint positive. Really faint, like you could barely, barely see it. Um, John didn't see it. The only way I really seen it is I took a picture and I kind of changed some um, filters on the picture. And in one filter, you could definitely um, see that there was a second line but it was very faint. So 9DPO, um, I had stuffy nose, and um, I got a faint positive on a first response test, and it was definitely positive. It was really, really faint, but it was definitely positive. Um, and I got a positive on a digital test, a digital um, first response test, and yeah, that's like when I really found out that I was pregnant. But the video you guys seen was on 10DPO. I took a clear blue and I took the clear blue digital. And then I took another first response after that that I did not film. And th those were all positive. So, um, yeah. When I was three weeks, four days pregnant, I didn't even feel pregnant at all. Um, it was pretty much just like nothing, like nothing happened. I didn't feel any different. Um, on three weeks, seven days, I started taking prenatal vitamins. I'm taking Materna. Um, they're really hard to swallow, I find, because they're so big of a pill. They're like this big. And uh, I find they're a lot easier to take with like juice rather than water, because um, they kind of taste gross too. And uh, I was getting uncomfortable pain that day as well, like in my stomach. Um, very uncomfortable and the last probably week like every few days I've been feeling like this kind of sharp painish in my stomach and it feels like maybe implantation pain but I don't know why it would be like every few days I get this so I don't know so the day I turned five weeks pregnant I had a, my first prenatal appointment so I went there, and that was pretty much just to confirm the pregnancy. He took um, he took a pregnancy test there, a uh, urine one, and it was positive. He said it was kind of faint, but it was positive, and um, and he sent me for blood work. So I went and got the blood work done yesterday, um, and we're gonna schedule a dating ultrasound for the end of May, start of April, or end of May, start of June-ish. Um, because I do know my dates, but he said that my uterus feels more like it's um, six weeks rather than five. Well, when I went, I think I was like four weeks and a few days. And he said that my uterus feels more like six um, weeks, not four or five. So he wanted a dating ultrasound just to make sure that I wasn't further along than I am. Um, and I was also feeling a little bit nauseous that day. And I still am, but I haven't thrown up yet. Thank God. Um, I threw up once, and I don't feel like it was because of the pregnancy. I took a prenatal vitamin, and I puked up the prenatal vitamin because they, they're pretty gross, and I'm sure you have to eat with them, and I didn't really eat that day, so um, that's why I think I puked, not because of the pregnancy. On five weeks, two days, I got a rash on my left breast, and um, a little bit ago, before I found out I was pregnant, my doctor um, checked me for breast lumps, and he found a lump, and he um, was going to send me for a mammogram, but he ended up checking it at my prenatal appointment, and the the lump went down significantly, so cancer doesn't do that, so he thought it was just a cyst, but then I'm getting this rash, and I don't even know what to think about it, so I'm going to bring that up to him at my next appointment, which is May the 27th, I believe. Um, I'm also getting tender breasts. They're, they kind of hurt. They feel swollen and big. And, um, yeah, I want to eat all the time, like all the time. I actually, I'll show you. See that? That's my, um, little basket of goodies. I keep like all my cookies and 
I keep my chips in there because I always keep it beside my bed in case I like wake up hungry in the middle of the night. <laughs> I've been so hungry. Um, I'm breaking out on my face. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I am breaking out and I have really dry skin and my back, oh, excuse me. My back is also pretty sore. Excuse me. So yeah, I'm, I'm also getting gas a lot, TMI, but yeah. So, I think I showed this book when I was pregnant with Xandra. And I got it from the library, and then I had to return it, obviously. But I ended up buying my own copy, Healthy Pregnancy, Healthy Baby. And I, like, loved this book with Z, and um, I bought it with Mika, and I loved it with Mika. And I've been, I've been reading it with this baby so far. So... I'm going to show you my... I even think I showed you guys this page. Alright, let's pregnant with Z. Um, so, here is... Oh, you read it backwards. Okay. Here is um, first trimester, months 1, 2, and 3. Weeks 1 to 4, it's 5 centimeters long, about the size of a pea. And that's the actual size of it right there. And um, 5 to 8 weeks, which is where I am. That's the size of it, and it just gets bigger and bigger, and, like, throughout your pregnancy, I'm pretty sure that's, like, eight months. Um, yeah. You get the idea. So, yeah, that's, like, my favorite book. Uh, I probably read every page a million times already, e even with this pregnancy, like, probably a million times. But, uh, yeah, so things have been going great with me and John. Um, things have been going great with the pregnancy. Um... Yeah, everything's just going really good right now. So, um, I guess this is it for week five. Um, I guess I'll show my belly and, yeah, I'll see you guys for week six. Okay, this is for weeks four and five. And, uh, yeah, so these pants are a little bit tight. So, I'm going to, like, pull them down a little bit so they're not, like, squishing my flub. <laughs> okay, well, this is with the shirt on. I'm going to slip the shirt up. Some people said I have been showing already, but I mean, a lot of this is just, like, squishy. But, um, if you, like, pull it back, you can see, like, the real size. <laughs> Front and side. So, yeah. Week five. Alright, so I guess that's it, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Remember, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I kind of messed up that last sentence, sorry. But yeah.